Hey guys, what is up the Neocubist here? Welcome to episode 8 of my Neo Network SMP Let's Play on the server that you can play with me. Info in the top pinned comment and in the description below if you want to play with me. Bedrock and drop, both work. Anyways guys, so we have a big day planned today. I want to build not... Mm, I wanted to build 9, but we're going to end up building 8 automatic farms. All of these automatic farms here are going to be built... We're gonna make them little AFK micro farms, all fully AFKable, so they're just gonna sit here and they're just gonna make us some money and, uh, you know, just make us loot that we can use to craft stuff. I think it's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna make them look really cool and case them in glass. Also, sheep have spawned and pigs have spawned. Now, I can't figure out if somebody threw, you, you, obviously there's no like sheep egg or like a pig egg, right? So I think what happened was they just spawned down here because there's grass and I had AFK'd here because I was doing a little bit of work off camera. Now, the only work that I've done off camera is that, you know, I said I wanted to decorate the inside of the house. Well, I didn't decorate it quite yet. I wanted to do most of this on camera, but I did go ahead and divide up the walls. So we're going to have like in our entryway here. Obviously, we'll have our chest room over here. We'll have a room over here. We'll have a room and then upstairs is kind of the same way. Um, this will just be like one big room here with little hallways. And then this is a, this was a little awkward to do. We could remove these if we wanted to, but we maybe have a little walkway down here and a walkway down here. And then a room up here. So we'll go ahead and just like start off by putting some doors there. And uh, yeah, I'd already built most of this. I just wanted to do it on camera so that way you guys didn't come back and you're like, bruh, like, what did you do? And I'd be like, you know, I made it look cool because I was tired of it just not having any rooms and being one big giant open room. I'm a fan of open concept, but I feel like for a Minecraft house, especially like one like this, well, we should make it fancy, you know? Like we could put a little table in here in the entryway and obviously I'm not gonna make this out of oak wood if I were to do a table You know, you could have like a nice little table in the entryway and put some flower pots. Maybe some blue orchids. Hmm potentially And I think this area this entire base is just turning out like super well I've been super ecstatic to record on here I mean, I'll be honest there's series in the past where I'm like not excited to record and I've kind of dreaded it I've actually had to stop myself from recording because I, I like record too much in one day and then it's it's been a problem but yeah so now we have all these rooms down here everything's nice and like organized and we can put stuff on this wall now too you end up making more space when you make rooms because you know i can put stuff like you know against this wall here and if this wall wasn't here that would just be sitting in the middle of the floor and it ruins the flow of the house so i'm happy with it we got all these rooms now empty we can put a smeltery in one. Oh, we can put so much stuff look at this nice so for these micro farms, we obviously need a lot of redstone. We need a lot of pistons. I'll craft all that stuff off camera, but keep in mind, we do have a lot of redstone. Don't have a ton of pistons. Oh, we're going to need a lot of hoppers. So we got to go iron mine before we do anything here. So we'll go to the resource world and start mining for iron. Now we don't have fortune three, but we do have a bunch of levels as you can see below. So I'm okay making a diamond pickaxe for now. Um, oh. I wish I could repair it, but again, it's too expensive to repair. Um, you can also see that I did end up changing how our um, how our enchanting area looked. It looked a little shabby when I got done with it. I looked at it because I was trying to, you know, because I have to make thumbnails for all the stuff that I build. And uh, I was trying to make a thumbnail of the old enchanting table. And I was just like, bro, I cannot believe I built this on camera. <laughs> but luckily, I, I did finish it at like 3 a.m. And I made a little clip at the end of the uh, episode 7. And uh, I showed you what the new version looks like because this looks so much better so much cleaner and uh, it still has all this stuff here So let's go ahead open our chest of lapis and let's just hope we can get fortune three in a reasonable amount of time I really do. I like I like them breaking and all that Oh the grindstones here and like plus I think the design here is really cool each one of these has their own little thing in them So if you want to copy this feel free yeah, we may get to a point where we're just not gonna get fortune three because it is kind of rare to get uh, It's not like a super Oh, yeah, dude Haha, <laughs> Let's go Wait, so why don't I just make this one netherite and then throw this one in the trash wait actually Does that just mean someone killed a big guardian in the world? Oh wait, that's not what I want I think that's actually exactly what that means. So what if I was to what am I doing? Wait, we don't have a smithing table here. <gasps> Why don't we put the smithing table like right there? Wait, what was I doing? Hold on. There's the smithing table hiding from me. In fact, I'm kind of disappointed that it, it decided to hide from me. I am really happy about the animals spawning here though. It, it makes me feel like I did something right by adding grass down here. 
Um, obviously, you don't need a brewing stand here. I'm just afraid if I put this here, since it's a solid block, it'll look a little weird. Uh, but honestly, the chest kind of does the same thing, so we'll just leave it for now. Um, let's go ahead and make this netherite, and then we'll make these two one. I know we just wasted a netherite ingot, kind of. This costs 11. And this costs 25. Oh, yeah, I know which one I'm going to pick. Look at that. That's like the perfect pickaxe. So we'll call this the... Um, let me think of a name. I think this should do. Okay, so this is just called pickaxe. <laughs> so instead of it saying netherite pickaxe. And then the only other thing I did off camera was I just made the idea board. Because I didn't want to do that. I feel like that would be kind of boring on camera. But you can pause it here if you want to look and read everything. You guys know how there's like a tiger king? I want to become the slime king uh, by selling slime balls. Because if you look on AH, I believe... I don't know if slime sells for like a lot. 30k a piece? Hey, yo, dude. Oh, but they're selling slime blocks for 5,000. Tree is. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, like I said, we're going to go mining because I need to get more iron before I can do anything. So let me put this up and then I'll meet you guys in the resource world. Oh, I'm so happy, dude. This has been so nice. People have been playing like crazy on the server. It's just been a lot of fun. All right, and then in the spirit of underground survival, we just dig a hole straight down. Hopefully we get lucky. We'll see. Bro, what the heck? I fell like directly into a lush forest that someone's already been to. But hey, look, there's iron. But yeah, somebody's already been. I wonder who's been here. Well, if you've been here and this was you, leave a comment on the video. This is the coordinates on the resource world if you guys want a lush cave, by the way. Okay. Um, I don't know if I have any glowberry vines. I don't know if these can be an automatic farm. Like, I'm looking for farms that I don't have to touch. Now, the sheep farm, like the wool farm, I do have to give it dispensers, right? But that's not really, like, a big deal to me. I don't really care about having to give them dispensers. I would care, like, for, you know, a fully automatic crop farm. I have to sit there and hold my mouse down. I don't want that. I want things that just, as I'm working around in the base and upgrading the base, it's just making me some resources. Um, I wonder how recently they were here, too. Dang, that was a lot of iron. I didn't. I did find a little bit on the way down. That wasn't, like, just 14 from that. Yeah, I guess they were just here for diamonds because they left most everything. I don't really think I need any more redstone, so I might just avoid that entirely. Like, you guys saw that chest. We had, like, two stacks of redstone blocks. Um, Ideally, if we could find one of those big ol' iron veins, I would be a very happy camper. But, yeah, I'm just going to look around and uh, we'll see what we can find. Whoa. Okay. Okay, all right, bye. <laughs> okay, well, apparently I'm near somebody's base because I now have haste too. Um, <laughs> I, I can insta mine call it. Like, I have haste too, and I can run super fast. So I'm near somebody's beacon? Which would be weird if someone had a beacon here because this is the resource world. Does that mean there's somebody, like, near me? And is this a big iron vein right here? No, it's not. Okay, that was really weird. I don't have the effect anymore. I'm going to go try to find where that beacon is. Because this is the resource world. You can't even claim anything here. So, I, I wouldn't just steal someone's beacon. But I would like to find out, you know, like, hey, is there, like, actually somebody here? Yeah, let me... I'll investigate in a second. I got to get this. Okay, well, I'm running back over here. This is, like, right where I got it. It may have been from something else on the server. But I never had that happen on survival. On Skyblock, that's happened. But not on survival. Yeah, it's not happening again, so <laughs> must have just been some weird fluke, but that was cool. Yes, dude, look what I just found. A geode. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So this means we can finally get some nice purple blocks. Which I just, I absolutely love geodes. I think they're... They just make songs when you break them. Now, unfortunately, you can't break these even with Silk Touch on the server, but... Um, that's okay. We're just gonna collect all the purple stuff, so I will do that, and I will come right back. Okay, well, this is the majority of the geode. If you guys want the rest of it, coordinates are here. Again, we're in the resource world. Um, but that was quite a bit of amethyst. I don't foresee myself using more than that, and of course I got the beautiful calcite. We already have two stacks of iron, but I want to keep going, because I feel like this cave is really nice, and, uh... I, I, I like mining, man. I, I really do. It's always been one of my favorite parts about Minecraft. Um, unlike some people, 
who just hate it. And I'm like, why are you playing Minecraft if you hate it? Look, they even put a torch on the iron and they didn't even grab it. Like they literally didn't even grab it. Haha, <laughs> nice try, creeper. You're kind of stupid though. Oh no. Why is there so many mobs? Watch this. Come on, buddy, blow up. Aha! <laughs> It's seriously like the best thing ever when they just like blow up everyone dies except me. Ha. Huh. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep getting iron, I'll come back, I'll meet you guys back at the house, cause this mining trip is pretty much over. I just wanna get a little bit more. Really? Alright, well here we are back at home. At our lovely home. And look at all this stuff we got. Look at all this iron, dude. That's the thing I'm most excited about like, excited about. That's what I'm most excited about by far. Like that is quite a bit. That's Five stacks of iron, a bunch of coal. We found one diamond. I was kind of mad. Our fortune didn't proc on that and give us some more, but hey, that's okay. I'm going to go up to our furnaces. I had collected some glass and some stuff for concrete off camera, so that's been smelting in here. And then, did we have... See, I thought at one point we had found a bunch of iron. I guess we already used it all, and we'll probably end up using most of this as well just because we're gonna be crafting a lot of hoppers. I want all of these farms ideally to lead into one chest. The only thing else that we're really missing is going and getting kelp, going and getting a beehive, uh, which that one might prove to be a little bit more difficult than I'm anticipating, but hey, I am up for the challenge, okay? I'm up for the challenge. Let me craft a bunch of materials, then I'll come back, we'll get to work on these auto farms. Nice. You know what I just found out that's really weird? You know how you can use like deep slate to make stone tools and stuff like that, and furnaces? You can't make a piston with cobbled deep slate. Isn't that strange? It's just little parody things like that you wouldn't think this big of a game would have. But still to this day, it still has all these little issues. That's it's just so strange to me. Yeah, because we don't really have any cobblestone. Um, so we might have to actually go get cobblestone. Like We have little pieces here and there, but for the most part, we've been digging down really deep. So like... I just think it's funny, like, we just don't have any cobblestone. That's usually something, you know, people have an excess of, but... Ah, we're doing okay. We're doing just fine, right? Uh, where's the piston? I mean, 21 pistons. We have 42 observers. I think we'll probably need some redstone repeaters, so I'm going to make those, too. I feel like a peasant. I have to get cobblestone. <laughs> I feel like a peasant. I don't have any cobblestone! Okay, well, we're back above Neo Town no, now because I know that there is a jungle nearby and we need to go get bamboo. We need to get kelp and that's stuff we can't get underwater or, or underground, I mean. So someone built all these hearts. Like, look at this stuff, dude. It's absolutely incredible. Neo Town is really, look at this sign. It's so beautiful. Everything is so nice here, guys. So thank you all for choosing to live here. And let's go look at the world map. I believe the jungle should be on here. Um... Yeah, see, it's over here. This is the jungle. Or or that's the jungle. One of those two is a jungle. So we're going to head in that direction, which is that direction on the map. But yeah, this thing is absolutely massive. Thank you guys for making this place look so cool. I'll go ahead and pop this little sign picture here. Go ahead and read it if you want to. But yeah, absolutely awesome. I love all these people. Thank you guys so much. Look, we even have signs now. Restaurant, shopping mall. Oh, you guys are going crazy. Everyone's building all this in survival, too. That's the crazy part. Like, nobody has, like, creative mode or something. Um, this is all from people's own designs. Jeez, people with a lot of signs here. Free labor, let me know. First time around the SMP. Please don't grief. Love to meet you sometime. Oh, my goodness. So many people. Greatest server ever. Oh, you guys are so kind. Thank you, truly. I'm not going to steal anybody's bamboo that I, like, see on the ground. Because I feel like that's kind of cheaty. I want to still go and get it myself. And I do know that in this direction, like somewhere in this direction is a jungle. So I'll head there. Let's go ahead and check on this build. One of my favorites over there. Oh my gosh. Like, oh, they built like a tram out in front of it. Like, I don't want to take that person's bamboo. That feels mean. Um, probably an acclaim too. But oh, the hobbit hole over here is even looking better. But well, look at that, dude. Oh, it's just so, it's like unreal. It looks so good. I don't know what's going on here. That's, that's something. Like and subscribe. Nice. You guys should thank you aha i knew it and i can see the jungle over there now and all these wonderful players beacons are helping me move quicker too now i assume somewhere in there yeah i already see some bamboo and we can just go grab some um, but there's like oh there's a nice little base over there going up this little modern thing oh that build is getting huge dang dude. <laughs> i'm just so excited to see this place in like two weeks you know what i mean like how is it gonna look in two weeks 
Okay, so I'm entering the jungle. I can just take this bamboo right here. Our inventory's full of cobblestone. We could probably get away with throwing away... I don't want to throw away that. We can throw away two string, though. We definitely need that. Um, is there just any more bamboo? I mean, I feel like eight is enough, but I'd like to have a little bit more to start with. Ooh, this base is cool. Nice. It just makes you happy coming out here and seeing all these people that wanted to play on a nice SMP with me. It's just, it's heartwarming. It's truly heartwarming. I actually went through all my comments last night for like the last three months that I hadn't hearted and read every single one. Now you guys keep in mind, I try to read every single comment on my videos. Like if you want to leave a comment, chances are I'm going to see it and I'm going to like it. Now I can't reply to everyone's comment because I'm only one human being and that would be like almost impossible, but I will read every comment. So if you have something to say to me, put it in the comments. Okay, that's for sure enough bamboo. Um, and now let's go not in this person's claim. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I almost went their claim. The game was like, no, 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 no. You cannot be in that person's claim. Let's see. Is there any kelp? I think it has to be in the ocean. So we may need to... Oh, there's a nice pink house over here. Cool. Let's go look at this. Oh, nice. The door is stuck open for some reason. Oh, there's a lever here. Well, this is a pretty looking house, dude. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like this. Huh. Interesting, I've never seen a house like made with pink blocks, but it actually looks really cool. Well, I'm gonna go find the ocean and let's get ourselves some kelp. You know, look, we got a nice little house here. It says Irish little house. Yeah, it looks like a little house and it looks like a nice little house. I like it. It's all along the river here, just finding little bases. It's so much fun. Oh yeah, well, I'm, I'm here, so I might as well grab some melons. I do have silk touch on my axe, so we get the whole block, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but that should be enough melon seeds. I don't know if we have pumpkins. That's one thing we're going to have to go and find. Um, Yeah, we might have to go and find pumpkins. Hmm. Shouldn't be too hard, though. Oh, I wonder if can cocoa beans be fully automatic AFK farmed? I really don't know, but we'll go ahead and just grab them just in case. I don't know if they can or not. That's a really good question. Kind of curious. I might have to look it up. I think... I don't know because you can't replant them after they get broken. But I was hoping that I would find the ocean over here, but oh It is over here. Thank goodness. Okay. Well, that's a nice lot. Someone should go live in this little island over here That looks nice. We got turtles here and then hopefully we should be able to find some kelp like really quickly since we do have the ocean here now Yay, look at this. Look what's in front of me. We got kelp on kelp on kelp. That is so much kelp um and yeah, I don't honestly think... Oh, it's right under me too. I don't honestly think I'm missing any other sort of like... Also, how do you automatically gather this stuff if it floats? If someone told me in a Discord call last night, it only floats if it's a source block. So we'll be putting that to the test. Um, Yeah, I may want to go look for some pumpkins. I don't honestly know where those are going to just like spawn. Maybe they'll spawn in the savannah. Let's go check. Okay, so I'm on land again. That is a nice looking cave. Well, this is near Neo Town. If you guys want the coordinates to go explore that, there they are. Um, okay, let's see. I am i didn't go to the savannah because I'm pretty sure that we need to find like a beehive. We need, ideally, three beehives would be best. You can make it with one. I don't have a campfire with me, but I'm pretty sure if the bee is in the nest and you have silk touch, you can just break it. I don't actually know. I may, do we have any coal? We don't have any coal, but we can probably get some pretty easily. So let's make a campfire before we find a beehive. Now the recipe for these is actually super duper simple. Um, I didn't realize, I thought I would have to make a bunch of stuff, but it's really just logs and sticks and charcoal or coal, either one. So now we have two campfires. We don't have anything to worry about. We're not gonna take the furnace or the crafting table. So if you guys wanna come to those, here's the courts. <laughs> oh, look, look, look what I found. But where's the beehive? <laughs> I did find I did find bees, but I don't see a beehive. Oh, there's the beehive. Okay. We just have to wait for them to go back into this beehive. Maybe we can lure them with a flower and like they'll come over here. Come on guys, come into your own beehive. Yes, into your very own beehive. You already have a beehive, but I'm trying to entice you back. I don't think this is going to work. Come on, guys. Two bees and one beehive would be great. <gasps> they went in. One went in. One went in. I'll just put it on the ground and we'll see. If we can get two in there. We do have silk touch. Yes. Okay. Now go in your beehive, please. 
I don't understand how bees work. I've never understood bees or what they're doing, but... Ugh. Okay, so I just broke the beehive. And if I turn on advanced tool tips, which shows like durability and stuff, and I look at it, it says two tags, which means there's two bees in there. Nice. Okay, one down, two, two, three to go. Ha, ha, ha. No way, dude. Literally, I was just like right there. That's the flower I put on the ground. I run over here and I'm, I'm, I'm actually in disbelief. <laughs> okay. That makes me really happy. Okay. Well, let's lead them over here. Dude, there's so many bees. That's the thing about a server is that since it's always running, technically, if there's somebody in this area, these beehives are always working. So they're always going to be like super duper stocked. So I'll just put this here and then they should go into the beehive and then I'll get another. Well, I just stumbled upon an absolutely massive cactus farm. Now we're going to be building obviously like a really tiny one. We do, do we do have two beehives. I'm okay with three. I know the plains biome can be a decent way to get beehives because, you know, if a tree spawns here, there's a higher chance of having a beehive. But look at this cactus farm, man. Absolutely massive. That's awesome. Okay, well, here I am back at home and have three beehives which is awesome sugar we have sugarcane bamboo kelp i don't remember we do have the sheep i don't know if we have more than one um i'm okay if we just have one but like two wouldn't be terrible um i can run around here let me see if we have another sheep somewhere oh slime don't hit me yeah it looks like we only have one sheep which is perfect i don't really care if it's just one it's good that it's a white sheep so we can dye it whatever color uh, let's go ahead and like make sure they're safe because they can wander and like You know go into the lava. So <laughs> we're gonna make sure they're nice and safe here. I'm sorry. Mr. Sheep You're gonna have a very nice home very soon. Okay Okay, yeah, so the only thing we're missing now is pumpkins, which I just forgot about until now Let me like make sure that we didn't like somehow forget it in one of our chests But if not, I'll just go get that real quick. It shouldn't take long yeah, we don't have any pumpkins, but that's an easy fix. Also just found another beehive. I'm not sure. It says two tags, but I hope that means there's actually two bees in them. The other ones I checked, this one I didn't, but if, if this one's a dud, that's okay. Yes, dude. I don't know why it took me so long, but here are some pumpkins. I don't think we need very many, but I'll just grab the whole patch. Uh, getting shot at by skeletons is no fun. Okay, now to go home. Okay, and then here are the repeaters we should need. And I think that's pretty much everything, guys. I'm pretty sure we should be good in this position. We need to make dispensers. Let me make those. Okay, so we have observers. We have droppers, dispensers, repeaters. I don't know what else we're going to need. I, I really don't. But let's see if this is enough. I'm going to watch some tutorials. Now, the idea here, I, I think most of the glass should be smelted. I don't know the exact color I want to make everything. But let me see... Oh, yeah, we already put all the glass up. I did get purple dye as, two, dye as well, too, before this episode. And I made a dye chest right here. So we have all the purple dye we'll need. I'm going to make myself some, like, concrete. So I'm going to grab some of the gravel we got. And I'm going to grab some of the sand we got. And I don't think we need that much. <laughs> I think maybe two stacks each should be good. Yeah, just two stacks each. Okay, so that... And then our glass is in here. I don't think we even need that much, but I want to make purple glass. I don't know why. I've just been on like a purple glass kick. I feel like purple concrete and purple glass is going to look really clean together. So we'll just go ahead and make all of this into purple glass. Let's see how much is this. Yeah, that should be enough. That should be enough. And then, of course, going to make the concrete as well. And there we go. That should be more than enough. So I'm going to go make this into the actual concrete form. If you missed that part in the episode before, I'll show you how to do it. It's really easy. You just break a hole in the ground that's like three blocks long. You put water down. You put it in your offhand. You hold both mouse buttons down at the same time. That easy. And if you want, like if you're worried about it, like not getting collected, you can always do this too. Some people do it. I don't really see the need, but you can like cover it like this. And then stand in here. <laughs> put a torch down if you want. And then you'll always get every drop. I don't, I don't know. Some people like to do it. I don't really care. Okay. I think I have like a light understanding of how a kelp farm works now. I've literally never, ever built one. So don't shoot me if this turns out to be terrible, but I'm going to do my absolute best. Okay. Uh, we're going to make some signs and <sighs> this one, th this is going to be tricky. Again, I want to make them all like micro. I kind of want to put them right here in like a big box. Uh, 
maybe I can find a better spot for them, but I don't, I don't want to put them like on the border. I don't think unless you want to make an entire wall of the base into auto farms. That could be kind of cool. We could do it like right here. Maybe, maybe this whole wall right here will become auto farms. The only issue is that there's glass here. And I believe like if we do settings and we look at like our uh, chunk clean particles, like our border is over there, but they could still lead a creeper up to it and like technically blow it up, which is against the rules. You get banned for doing that, but I don't want to deal with that. So let me think. Okay, so I just came over to this wall because I wanted to, you know, I, I, I got some obsidian. I had some in our chest. And then I had some in a stone chest for some reason. Anyways, I have obsidian now. And I think we're going to build it along this wall. But, like, dude, someone went along and wrote Hi Neo on, like, on, like, <laughs> like, it's all the way down there, too, man. Like, that's dedication. I'm probably going to delete the signs. But like, oh my gosh, hi Neo, hi Neo, hi Neo, hi Neo, hi Neo, hi Neo, <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, so the idea would be that we're going to remove the lava on like a portion. I kind of want it to be in the frame of, uh, it's like right here. So we're going to remove all the lava. You know, I'm kind of a doofus. I could just like do this. Uh, that might mess up our mossy carpet. I think we have enough obsidian where it doesn't really matter. I was going to say, I could just turn the lava into obsidian, but um, I want it to be like over to here, something like this. And then I'm going to break out this little area of glass and then make this like a too high obsidian thing. That way, if someone did lead a creeper over here, it wouldn't really hurt the farm. Okay, so this area is kind of done. Now, I want all of these farms to be like somewhat modular. I think it's going to be interesting how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and set up like one module here. I don't know how big this thing needs to be. I'm going to have glass on the bottom of everything. It's going to be it's going to be an interesting build. That's that's going to be one word for it cuz I never built one, right? And I don't really know how they work. I have some semblance of understanding. Um it's going to be a little tricky with the stuff connecting. We'll kind of work through that as we go on. But we may end up just making this entire glass wall into purple glass or just something I I don't know. Or maybe we should push these one block out. Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, actually, let's let's go ahead and just push all these one block out. That'll, that'll work fine. Okay, so something like this. And again, like, I don't even really know how this thing works. So I may end up making it a little bit smaller or bigger as we need. I do know that we're going to need walls. I don't know that, they, that this needs to be, like, three blocks. But ideally, we're just going to put them all right here. Hopefully they fit. I know some are smaller than others. This one's going to be one of the bigger ones. And then the, I know the sheep one is going to be pretty big as well. Um, okay, so the kelp needs to grow on a block. This, an observer has to be like here, but it has to be facing this direction like this. Okay, and then we need to... <laughs> oh, I don't have any pistons. Hold on. Okay, so let's take the pistons. And the pistons are going to face out in this direction. I'm, like, pretty sure. Not, not there. <laughs> And then just a filler block goes in the bottom so we can just use like purple glass or something. And then it's actually going to have to be one block wider, I believe. So these are all the little things like I just didn't foresee. I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know if this thing's going to end up working or not. It may be so big that it just kind of doesn't function here. Hmm. So we'll put a row of hoppers like down here or something. And then a collection chest. Now, ideally, I want these all to link up. So maybe we'll have like a collection hopper feed come down into these hoppers. Um, but these right here are just going to go. Uh, I, I, I don't even know. For now, we'll just lead them into. This is going to be a long project. It's going to be a long episode. So we'll lead them into here for now. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and just put the signs here so that the water doesn't flow exactly onto the hoppers. Something like this. And then the kelp should grow like right here, which I can't put the water there yet. Or I can't put the kelp there yet until the water's there. So let's go ahead and just like pre prevent the water from falling out. <laughs> I might need more materials. Okay. And then you just put the water on top of here, but you don't want it to fall behind. Um, I believe you put a row of blocks behind here. So we'll use like, can you put redstone on glass? I don't I need redstone. Hold on. 
Okay, this is already turning out to be a little bit of a mess. It's an enjoyable, it's a learning experience, but can you put redstone on glass? You can, okay. So I'm fine if we just put like some purple glass back here, and then you put the redstone up here, and then, so like if I observe a change here, nothing happens. I did this the opposite. I did this the opposite. The pistons need to be where the observers are. Okay, good. I'm glad I looked over at that video and saw that I was doing it wrong. There we go. That makes more sense. That way when it grows up to here, it fires the piston and then the piston breaks. So if it's something grows up to here, it'll fire the whole row, break the cup. Okay, so now all we have to do is go up here, potentially, <laughs> put the water down. Dude, I don't know, man. Now I'm kind of confused. Okay, so we fill this in. This is probably going to be the top. No, because there has to be water. It needs to be one block higher. Dude, this is already way bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought we could build little tiny, teeny tiny micro farms. And to be fair, we can always redo some of these if like this one turns out to be too big. Or like we just don't want it. We don't have to have it. Um, but ideally, I was hoping that these would be a little bit smaller. Okay, and I am going to turn on NV for now, just while we're building, so that everything's easy to see. Was Because when you're in your claims... I already need more purple glass. Yeah, we might have to make a little bit more of everything. Oof, yeah, we're already almost out of the concrete, too. <laughs> These might not fit, either, if they're all going to be this big. Wow. Oh, a learning experience, nonetheless. If anything, this will be a huge learning experience for me. Okay, so this goes here, and then you can just cover that in glass, and then you just put the water up here, but I'm just going to make an infinite source before we do anything. So we'll put water here, water here, boom, 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 and then nothing should break. Wait, whoa, 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 <laughs> oh, I guess it's observing the water. Oh, no, the water, no, 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 no. Okay, I think that's why you're supposed to wait to put the redstone and now since this is a solid block we should be able to put kelp on the glass yes okay and so does this work at all though maybe and then it oh i see oh i see okay so it makes the it shoots the water because it makes it fall well could we put glass like right here and then that won't happen no because it's going to happen on the level of the piston and then there's nothing... Uh... <laughs> Let me try some stuff out. Hold on. Okay, so the problem is, is that... It's not even that the kelp floats. I don't even really think it's floating. The problem is, is that once it grows, it like, it, it'll sink and everything because they're not water source blocks. So that person was right. But it just gets stuck at the bottom because there's nothing, nothing pushing it to the hopper. So maybe we need to like... Put a delayed piston and mm, mm, no we need to have the water flow over a block so this needs to come out another block i believe okay well let me take all the water out <laughs> i did not foresee this i did not foresee this and i'm sure we can compact it a little bit like like once we have the first iteration or oh my gosh once we have the first iter what just happened there oh my gosh pistons Calm yourselves. Uh, once we have the first iteration, how did this make a full... Oh, I see. When you put kelp in, it turns into a source block. Oh. Well, then we can't have water flowing down here. Let me watch some more videos. Okay, I've solved the issue. I'm not sure why that took so long. But I'm pretty sure this will make it work. Maybe. And then we, we also need to make the frame go one block out. So, okay, let me... We're going to have to break this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, this is turning out to be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I mean, like, this the world's not going to be perfect. We're trying. We're, we're just trying to have fun, mainly. Oh, no. Okay. Well, where are my signs? Oh, there they are. Um, we're just trying to have fun, mainly, I think, more than anything. So, this needs to go out. Oh, no. This needs to go out to here. Yeah, something like this. Okay. Let me build it. Okay, okay. So the signs are down. And if I just go up here, I take away the water. I'm just gonna make it freak out for a second. 
Okay, and then I put the water back up here, like we did the first time, and then it should work. Like it, there, there should be, there should be nothing that can't work. At least that's the hope. So if once I break this, the water will fall over these. It'll freak out for a second. That's fine. Yeah. See, the problem is, is that it like pushes the water out in front of the piston. Like that's that's the bad thing. So maybe if we just do a row of glass like right here you see how the water's flowing down there now so now if i put the kelp down here and then it grows boom gets pushed <laughs> let me um let me do that yeah it's funny because we're gonna have to raise the whole frame up one if we want it like modular and contained okay well let's let's just attempt this so if i were to put this here okay oh, okay it doesn't go into my inventory, slides down, gets picked up in the hopper. Beautiful. Okay, we have our first successful thing. I'm gonna go ahead and like block this off. I'm just gonna raise the whole frame up by one. Okay, and then I just get to cover this thing up and it should just work. There should not be anything. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that, took up, that took up quite a large space. Um. I was not expecting that, but you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna work with it. We're just gonna roll with it. We'll go ahead and take all the kelp out of there, and we'll just make sure like it works. We'll just have to wait. Um, I don't really think I could break this and put a sign here, and then I could bone meal the kelp potentially. I don't even know. Can you bone meal kelp? Jeez, dude, this is a larger undertaking than I thought. This <laughs> I feel like a two-hour episode. But hey, it's kind of fun. You can bone meal kelp, okay? So it flows, and then it should flow down into the hopper. Okay, cool. Okay. I just thought for some reason maybe it broke because I sealed it all up, but... Okay, the oak sign. Okay, so everything works. We have a kelp farm. Okay, that was like probably the most worrisome one I have. The rest of them are pretty straightforward. So we have kelp off the list. Cactus. Let's go ahead and just do cactus because I think that's a fun one. Oh, do we have any sand? Pretty sure all the sand that we have is in glass form. No, that's right. We got all this. That's right. And uh, I'm going to make this like super uber duper compact, um, as compact as we can. I don't need like a ton of cactus, you know, I may want a little bit, but I don't want like a ton. Um, so kind of the idea here is we'll try to build them where the front of them is all in line with this one, I think. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> oh, it's going to be fun. So if the cactus is going to grow like, this is the wall, so it has to be a space. So if we want the cactus to grow all right here right and then well no 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 wait 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 hold on hold on hold on where's my shovel okay so the idea is somewhat simple here um the cactus is going to grow here 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 and here and the reason it's so high up you'll see in a second um, but we're going to put the cactus right here oh! <laughs> we're going to put this block right here so whenever one of these cactus grows up, it's just going to fall like like it's not going to be able to grow. Right. Um, and then we have to build a little bit of a frame down here. I want all these connected. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this exactly. Uh, but there can you obviously can't build the wall right next to the cactus or it would break. So we have to do the wall one block out, which is touching this glass. So maybe we should build this whole thing. Oh, if we want to make it modular. Why don't we just move it over one block? I have to move this whole thing over one block. Okay, hold on. Okay, so the whole thing is moved over. Obviously, we need a one block space there. Okay, cool. And then we need a one block space on this side. So the wall can be right here, I guess, technically. So we can go ahead and start framing it. Something like this. Yeah, and then this all has to go. Okay, well, let me, let me put this thing in a box, add the water to the bottom. And then we should be good. I don't really know how to handle it when it's on this side. I think it'll be fine if it's like that. I'm not really too worried. And it has to be like one block above. So it'll have to be the same height as this one too. Which is fine. I mean, it's not really a worrisome thing at all. And yeah, this thing should be cooking here pretty soon. Ooh, that's right. We don't we don't want anything there. I don't know how we're going to do these walls. Just let me let me connect this one and I'll be back in a sec. Yeah, we're already almost out of purple. Pur we're almost out of purple glass. We're going to have to go get more soon. Well, I encountered a problem. I can't put the wall right here. I have to move this thing over to the right one now and then move the whole wall back. <laughs> oh, gosh. 
Okay, and I can connect these two here. Yeah, this will work. So I'll just put like the hoppers like this into there. Nice. And then literally all I have to do, like super easy. I don't even know if I need signs or anything. Uh, but I think I can just put the water like right here. And then, yeah. And then like it'll just break and flow over to here. I don't know, like do you need a, I don't know, let, let me see. Yeah, I don't actually think you need signs here. I think if it just flows over the hopper, yeah, it should be good. I don't think it'll like float up or anything. If it ends up floating up or we're getting like low drop rates, I'll, I'll fix it. But I don't think I need to put anything there. Like, what if we throw a piece of sand? It took a little bit longer than it should, but it still worked. And uh, it turns out this thing's like just as big as the kelp farm. <laughs> I thought this one would be super tiny. So we are learning as we go. We are learning as we go, that's for sure. Um, will it even grow up a block? I'm pretty sure. You can't bone meal cactus, though. We'll just have to see if it produces. If it doesn't end up producing, then we'll change the design a little bit. Um, but yeah, this one turned out to be just as big, which was not intentional. I do like this thing, though. I like that we have all these little farms. I think it's it's like wonderful to have little tiny AFK farms where I can just sit here on the server and just basically get rich just by, well, sitting here on the server. That's all the glass we have left. And I don't even think, ugh, nice. I don't even think that we have any in our house. I'm pretty sure we used all of it. We have a little bit left, <laughs> a little bit. Oh no, what have I done? Neo, what have you done? Ah, oh, it's two more stacks. We should be good for now. Okay, here we go, and boom, she's done. Nice. Okay, so let's let's just take a take a peek at our beautiful farm. <laughs> it's so tiny, <laughs> but it works. So I saw the kelp farm had actually fired. Um, we got five kelp from it. So the kelp farm works. The cactus farm works. Our house is going to be in the way of these. Maybe we'll make our ceiling really tall, and we'll stream that later, and then we'll make like. See, this one was actually bigger than this one, which is the funny part. But you need that one wide border on the edge of it. So that made it kind of difficult to make it small. Now, the bee farm I know can be compact. Okay, so we're done with cactus. Okay, we're done. Okay, maybe, 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 maybe we'll do melon and pumpkin. I know bamboo and sugarcane are like uber simple. Um, we can make really tiny versions of those. I think we can even put like the bamboo and sugarcane we put those in the same farm? I don't want them in the same farm, but we could do something where it's like one row each. Like th th there'll be like a little bamboo farm and a little sugarcane farm like right here. And then we'll have this be the edge and everything else will go above them. Maybe, and we can make them, well, the sugarcane doesn't grow very tall. <sighs> hmm. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and just build this here. Cause yeah, this is like the wall where I set, where I said I didn't want it to go past. So, let me go grab the bamboo and the sugar cane. Okay, so these are like dead simple. Like, they're they're probably the easiest ones. And to make them lossless, I believe, I think bamboo will grow. Yeah, it'll grow on sugar cane. Obviously, you need water, which we could probably put, probably put the water actually like, just like right here or something. Yeah, because the, the Oh, these are in a line too. So you know what we can do? We can put the hoppers right here. Um, we can put the water for this like back here. It doesn't really matter. You want? I don't even think you'll be able to see this block. So we'll just put water right here. We'll put the sugar cane right here, and then right, and then it's just observers facing in this direction. I'll just put one here just to break it, and then the piston on top. And then a block behind each of these, which is kind of easy to do. What did I do for the block on that? I did purple glass. We should probably do purple glass. So purple glass here, purple glass here, and then just a redstone and a redstone. And then I'm pretty sure like this will just work. Like, <laughs> Did I do this backwards again? Oh, I see. The observer is supposed to be on top. Oh, okay. It's kind of weird. I, I don't know how I keep doing it wrong. I, I don't know what's what's my deal here today. So like this and this. Right? Yeah. So the observer goes on top. 
And then that will fire the piston. Which is right here. Cool. Oh, I guess it didn't observe the change. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. That was very helpful of you. Very, very helpful. Now, I guess what I can do is, since this will be glass, I can just fill this in with glass, and it's fine. Um, and then the frame can just go probably like one block back, like right here. I can fill this in with glass, too. Not a problem. And I'm pretty sure this is mostly lossless. I probably want to put a border in here just so that nothing comes out under it. And then same with this. And then same with the little block right here. Something like this. Yeah. Nice, dude. Oh, I'm so happy. See this one, and I don't have to like worry about anything um, like above this, right? I could just put glass here. Pretty sure. We'll go ahead and just like siphon it off like that. Okay, and then we just have to fill in the glass on the sides. And that should be fully automatic sugar cane. I know it's not a lot, guys. None of these farms are going to be like a lot or really big or really, you know, perfectly efficient or anything like that. Um, so there's automatic sugar cane. There's automatic bamboo. Done. Nice, dude. That one took like two minutes. Okay, so we have... Oh, the honeycomb one is... is hmm. That requires something fancy that I don't really know how to do. It requires hopper minecarts. So we have kelp, bamboo... Oh, kel oh yeah. Kelp, bamboo, and sugar cane. Done. We just have melon, pumpkin, honeycomb, and wool left. Okay. Melon and pumpkin, I think, can be done on the same one as well. So let's go ahead and grab some pumpkin seeds um, and grab ourselves some melon. We have to actually break it with our hand, don't we? Okay, and then grab some... Oh, grab some melon seeds. There we go. And I believe I know how to do this, but let me see if I can find like a micro version. We'll just like stack it up on there. Okay, so I have a good tutorial pulled up. I just need to grab a hoe. And uh, I think I can make this micro. <laughs> no, no, some of these are a little bit large. Um, but you know, we're living larger than life here on Neo Network SMP. I want everything to be magical and awesome. I also want ladders. Okay, this will make everything a million times easier. I believe I can build it in this little space right here. This little this little divot to the side. Um, I don't want the melons and pumpkins to be huge because we don't really want to eat them. We can just sell them for cash. Um, so stacking is a little tricky. I think I'll still just do like a normal frame of glass like this, right? Something like this. Um, obviously this is the outer bounds. Yeah, th this is the perfect size actually. So we'll do it like this. Okay. So we need dirt, which luckily we have dirt. I almost forgot that. And, uh, we just put... Hmm. Actually, I think we need four, but hold on. Yeah, we can't build it right here. That's not gonna work. Hey, we got some kelp? Oh. Well, it's floating. I'm not sure what happened there. I didn't think it would float like that. I thought it didn't float if there weren't source bar. <laughs> this is gonna require a lot of tweaking. It's definitely gonna require a lot of tweaking. I think this one is wide enough here, so we'll go ahead and start building it here. Yeah, because we want to have this right here, and then it can grow a melon or a pumpkin. And this one, and it can grow to here. Maybe we can even do it smaller, right? This will grow here. So this will go to this one. This one will go to this one. Perfect. Okay. And then we want to break the melon or pumpkin when it grows right here or here. And then we can observe the change. I believe the observer would go when the stem changes. So we'd want to put this here and this here. This is not the tutorial. I'm just like freestyling now. Because I think I'm confident enough to build this where it will just work. And then the redstone would go here and here and here and here. Okay. And then we need water um, under like one of these pistons. Doesn't really matter which one. Okay, water here, just so that these are all saturated. Obviously, we just want this and this saturated, and we just want a melon seed and a pumpkin seed, and it's firing, and it's not shooting at the piston. That's what I don't understand about redstone. I guess it needs to be, like... I guess we need to put, like, repeaters behind it. Hold on. We'll go get some repeaters in a second here. I also want to make another ladder. We'll probably make one, like, right here, too. 
Hey, look, our acrobatics kicked in, and we didn't take fall damage. That's like, that's what's nice about playing on the server, just little tiny things like that. Like, the more you play, the better you get about, you know, not, you know, hurting yourself whenever you fall. <laughs> fun little, uh, fun little thing. Okay, so we'll put the redstone right here. So it'll be a little bit bigger than I need to, but I have room back. I just don't have room side to side. Okay, and then we put the redstone here, and now it will fire those. So, like, if something changed, like, let's just... I can't discern the difference here, but if this grew, then it would fire. Kind of was... Came at me a little bit aggressive there. Okay, so no matter what, whenever one grows, it'll get pushed here. Nice, okay. And then we can go ahead and just build the frame, and it can just be, like, literally right on top. We don't need any space at all. Cool. Okay, nice. We actually have a nice looking farm. Okay. All right. Well, let me finish framing around this one and then I will come back when I'm done. Okay. So a little bit of a problem. If I were to put the hoppers right here, they would be in the place of the glass. So I'm actually going to move the entire thing back one block, which it won't take that long, but I just wanted to tell you what I was going to do before I did it. That way you don't come back and you're like, Neo, what happened? So I'm going to move it back a block, the whole machine. Okay, so the entire thing is moved back one block. Uh, I need to fill in this with glass. And then the top. Okay, so this is like a really flat compact. I think at least. I don't know. <laughs> and then we can hopefully go into this hopper right here. So it'll be hidden behind here, which will look nice. Um, kinda. I mean, it's not gonna, it's not gonna look great, but it is, it is what it is. I don't know if we have enough hoppers to do this, but we kind of figured out that way at least these three farm these four or five farms all lead into the exact same oh no oh no oh no okay 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 stop 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 Ugh. okay <laughs> okay where did all my signs go probably in the chest that i can't access from here unless i break this block aha uh -huh. and then i yeah okay so there are the signs I need to put that back. Well, that's moss carpet. Okay. And then, can I put the signs on top on a hopper? Yes, I can. This is like the most complicated thing in survival I think I've ever built, like by far. Which isn't saying much because it's not that complicated. But for me, man, this is this is like the dream. Okay. And then I'm probably just gonna have to break these blocks to get out of here. And then we want to go up here. And over to there. Okay, cool. And then we'll just build one block off the edge. Go ahead and build this up. And we should be good. We should be good. That should work. There shouldn't be any problems. If there is, please call the 1-800 uh, number and uh, report the problems because I can't help you. Did I not put glass behind this thing? No, oh, we didn't. Ooh. Look at me, dude. I'm a menace to society. Oh, and we got the moss carpets on the ground. Okay, nice. Well, we have most of them built. Um, let's go see what we don't have built. Yeah, oh, we forgot the glass in front of it. We only have five glass left. Okay, let me go. I, I'm going to have to go get more purple dye, which is not a problem. Um, the bigger problem is probably going to be sand. So let me put up all my project blocks. Let me get more purple glass, and I'll come back when I have more purple glass. When did this appear in my inventory? Do you guys see this? A crystal axe. When did this appear in my inventory? Did somebody throw this at me or something? Because I don't... I, I've been using the Silk Touch one, though. I, I just found this... I literally was up there, like, smelting glass. Look at this, guys. Look at all the glass we have smelting. All of this is glass. Where did I get this? I did not get this. So I'm just going to put it in my tool chest and not use it. I don't... Yeah, I mean, it, I haven't used it at all, so why does it have a little bit less durability? So somebody threw that to me? Well, thank you, I appreciate it, but I'm not going to be taking anything from people. I want to do this journey on my own, okay? As much as I appreciate the gifts, thank you. But I'm trying to do it all on my own. Dude, <clears throat> I've been searching for flowers for like 30 minutes. I do have a little bit of purple dye, but like, it's very slow going. There's also a lot of blue orchids here, so I've been collecting those too. They do give you light blue dye, which is exactly not what I need. Um, but the rarest flowers are for sure, yeah, corn flowers. For some reason, like the one I need. Uh, but these give you two red diet pops, so they're super nice. Okay, guys. Well, we do have some cactus in here, which means the cactus is working. I don't think 
Well, the sugar cane's grown. I don't know if the bamboo has grown at all yet. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure that doesn't that doesn't even look like a bamboo shoot. That looks kind of messed up. So let's go replant the bamboo. There we go. I mean, maybe it looks different after it grows once, but I just broke it and replanted it because the sugar cane's growing. Uh, the melons and stuff have not grown yet, but I don't even have the glass to put in front of them, but we should now. I may actually end up putting the front of them as just like clear glass because I can't really see. I mean, you can kind of see in there, but I think it'll just look better if it's just normal glass. Let's do that. Yeah, the reason we could see in them better is because I had night vision on. Um, and you can definitely see through it better with night vision, but we may go back and uh, in reality just turn it to normal glass. I don't really care. I, I think both look good. Um, well, I guess we don't need as much glass as I thought. This will just be purple concrete across. What? I don't have any purple con- mm. Dude, this entire time I had another stack of purple dye in my chest, dude. <laughs> I forgot about it. Yeah, that's that's one of those moments where you're just like, oof. It's just a big oof moment. That's um a little bit disappointing to say the least. But it's okay, it's okay. Now we have another project chest as well, so I can clean up my inventory because geez, it's a mess. I don't think we'll need another hoe for a while either. Now we get to make all this purple concrete powder into concrete. Wish me luck. This'll be a while. Alright guys, we're back in business. We got hoppers, we got purple concrete. Let me figure out how to make a fully automatic bee farm. Or I guess, it's not fully automatic because you need the dispensers and observers and you have to use a bow. Oh my gosh, they can spawn on top of my thing. <laughs> that's not good. See, that's why night vision is deceptive, especially in your base. We'll have to figure out a way to light this up properly because that's not going to be good. Ew, we don't want that. Okay, let me figure out how to make a bee farm and I think we'll put it above the cactus. Yeah, I figured out why these things aren't growing. Um, there's no light in here at all. <laughs> there's like actually no light in here. So we may like, see, because we can't really put glass there. We could put a piece of glowstone there and nobody would know. I think that's why a lot of things aren't growing. Like this stuff isn't growing probably because it's so dark. So let's go grab some glowstone and just have fun with putting it in there. Okay, well apparently our melon and uh, pumpkin farm does not work. You'd think the stem changing would make it, you know, activate, but it doesn't, I guess. I'm unsure. I, I, I feel like this should work. Every, like, you know, it, it just seems like it would work, right? Yeah, I mean, okay, so the pumpkin changed shape there. W what about here? And the stem changed shape, but it didn't, it doesn't always go in. Like, that's fine. I understand that. It's not always going to go in. Um, but it just seems weird to me that it didn't, so like if one appears here, okay, well that's, that's not the right material, okay. If it appears right here, wait, what? Shouldn't it connect? I thought it connected. I don't know. Okay, so I'll, we'll test this again. I'll cover this back up and we'll just see if it works. Now I have everything we need for this far. Oh, I didn't get the glass. That's right. Yeah, I saw that up there and I was like, wait, what? I also saw that the sugar cane is, oh, why is this like this? I saw the sugar cane was one block tall and I was like, okay, so then it must have fired and I guess it landed on the sand because I checked in here and we do have, um, we just don't have any. So, okay, we gotta be careful about this. We don't wanna make sure we have any false positives. Pumpkin and melon are in there, so we know those aren't working. Um, we'll get like two pieces of grass. We don't, or maybe we need, Four? I don't honestly know how many of these beehives we'll end up using. We'll just have to see. And then we can just use dirt from in these chests here. Okay, so let's go build this. I'm going to put it right here because it's one of the bigger ones. And then the sheep one will go like right here. And then we should be good. I think that'll be like pretty much everything for the most part. <laughs> um, There's a hopper line right here. So this actually works out really well. Um, like the hoppers being right here. If we do four of them, we should have room. Oh, we could technically even fit five with all this space here. Uh, but we'll just go ahead and go with four, two, three, and then four. Yeah, the only thing about doing four is like it wouldn't fit evenly here. So let me go find another one out in the wild just because we're definitely going to want to make sure it looks as good as possible. Forgot my food, so we have to go to the OG hardcore food source, the salmon. We have campfires too, so we could just like cook it up. It's kind of nice. Oh, well there's something off in the distance. Oh, I guess that's that's where they sit at the top of their mob farm so that it gets maximum drops or something. Huh. 
cool. I mean, it's nice to just see. I just random teleported from spawn to the overworld, and it's like it's cool to see that there's so many, like there's thousands of people. We had like seven thousand people join the server so far, and so I mean, like a lot of people have built stuff. Obviously, not all of them are on at once, but you know, on the weekends we get like around four hundred people, and then you know, it's like ten thirty nine on a Monday night. We still have two hundred people on, which is pretty cool. So let's set up camp here for a moment. There we go, and cook some fish. Nice. Oh, oh, I see a bee. Yes, dude. Thank you, Minecraft. Thank you. Th oh, I have the blue orchids in my hand so I can lead them back here. Ideally, you really only need one bee. Did it just go in there? Uh, I'm pretty sure it did, but I also don't know for sure, so I'll just go grab this one too. Oh, he was in there. He just popped out. <laughs> right, we only need one bee per beehive because uh, we don't really care about them multiplying. I wish one of them would go in, but they're so stubborn sometimes. Okay, well, one of them went in. Um, what can I throw on the ground? Two purple glass can be stacked, and then this can be stacked, too. I don't need the salmon. I'll have steak at home. Okay, back to the house. Okay, so let's hope I remember how to build this thing. I don't really have to remember because it's pulled up on the side of my screen, but it looks pretty easy to build. So the grass is going to be... I want to build this. Well, actually, can the grass be... Yeah, hmm. You know what? It should be fine still. We just have to go boom and then boom. Two, three, four. Right? We have four. We have five. <laughs> and then we put all the beehives on top, but then we put this grass in front. This is the kicker here. We have grass in front. That's only four pieces of grass. Um, oh, I have an idea. This will work just fine. Yeah, I haven't seen anything grow there. Oh. Oh, I think that, oh, that was the kelp. And it's floating again. Oh, no, it sunk. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> that was a turn of events. Jeez. So I go in one and then go over here. Okay, cool. And then I can put the grass down. Sweet. Okay. And then the beehives will go on top of here. Looks like the observers are facing, like, downwards like this. Let me make sure the arrows are on the side. No, it's the opposite of this. Yeah, it's the opposite of this. So we'll put some temp blocks here. And then we'll just put all the observer. I don't think it matters like what way this way. There we go. So the temp blocks are done. Again, that's where the beehives. Oh wait. Right. Wait, how can I not pick these up? What? Oh. Yeah, the bee. Yeah, these go on top of here. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna get it one of these days, man. This is a this is an interesting thing that we're doing. Okay, and then of course I'm doing blue orchids just because I'm the Neo Cubist man. I got I gotta go with my guns here. I gotta go with my guns. Now technically this one would be one block above. Actually, technically it's gonna be two blocks above because we have to put redstone here, and then we have to put dispensers as well, which use. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put some temp blocks back here. Actually, how do we put the dispensers down? Wait. I might have to do something. <laughs> the dispensers are supposed to face like this direction. Oh, dude, I'm a goober sometimes. Wait. Bro. <laughs> You're gonna laugh me so hard. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what my deal is, but sometimes I just get confused, okay? Now the dispensers go here. Yeah. Because the, the beehives go actually right here. The flowers are right here. And then I believe you can just put like a block on top. I mean, he just has like a building block like right here. And then you just redstone it up on the top. Like I'm pretty sure, let's let's like put a block in front and see if it like does something. Yeah, it works, okay. Nice. And no campfires are needed so the bees don't get mad if redstone is messing with them. For some reason. <laughs> they don't seem to care, okay. That's like literally it. I mean, that's all of it. Obviously, we have to put the beehives in there and make sure that the, you know. And I think I, yeah, there'll be a gap there. Make sure they don't like escape. But other than that, it's pretty much done. So let's go ahead and frame this bad boy. This is gonna be one of my favorite ones, I think. Cool. Go over here and then over to, uh, yeah, I guess like right here. That'll be just fine. No, it's going to be a little tricky, I guess, because there's one right there. 
if we're gonna use temp blocks and i know i didn't even put redstone there if we're gonna use temp blocks i'd much rather use glass on the inside just for congruency's sake and then the last thing after this we have to build is really easy it's just like a sheep grinder those are super super simple i've always been a big fan of building them because i can i don't even need help it's like ugh. You just watch the observe, you observe the grass and whenever they break the grass, uh, ooh, we have to get the sheep up in here. <laughs> yeah, I, I love it. I say as I don't even think of the main thing. Okay, so like this. Dude, we're going places. We're going places. I did like, okay, so I'll, I'll start an episode and like sometimes I'm not like super confident that everything's going to work out like 100%. Um, this was one of those episodes I was a little bit worried you know I was like mm, you know something could go wrong but like more than likely I'm not gonna be able to do some of these machines but so far everything seems okay everything seems okay no it's, it is gonna be tricky we're gonna have to place the beehives and just like can we even like can we okay <laughs> this is gonna be tricky okay so I have this thing all covered what I'm gonna do is run out here as soon as I can or as quick as I can so we're gonna one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here, and then just boom, boom. Oh, okay, we got out there. Right, so I don't even understand. Like, are they going to, like, come out of the beehive, like, on their own accord, I guess? Oh, you know what we didn't Oh, You know what we didn't do? We didn't put any shears in there. So that's the only non-semi-automatic part, but I feel like if you put, you know, like, like, I feel like if you put a good bit of shears in there, you're never really realistically going to have to worry. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Uh, so we should be fine. We should be fine. I'll just go ahead. It, it's easy access for the shears too. I hear them making buzzing noises, but I think that's a beehive with a bee in it that makes that noise. So we just put like a couple shears in here and so on and so forth. Okay. So all but one of them has three shears. The other one has two shears. Okay. So now we get to figure out the sheep farm, which I think will be one of the easier ones. We have grass. Um, uh, we only have one sheep. Oh yeah, let's let's just confirm we still have one sheep. That's probably the more important part. Do we still have the sheep? Yes, we do. Okay, buddy, um, you're about to go on a nice, fun adventure. What what makes sheep be led? It's just wheat, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's wheat. Okay, so we'll grab a piece of wheat. Oh, the cow's just got. He's like, oh, you, you got you got some wheat for me, bro. He's like looking through the. <laughs> Uh, even after all these years, man, this is Minecraft's just still so much fun sometimes. Um, okay, yeah, this might be a little, uh, because I need this to go all the way up to here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wait, the sheep has a path, so the sheep can walk all the way up here, and then I need to devise a way to make this work. Now, I'm 99% sure we need to use hopper minecarts, so I'm going to have to go grab those as well. So, I need to test the mechanics of a hopper minecart. I, I believe I know how they work. But at the same time, I don't actually know. So if we have a chest here, now don't make fun of me, okay? Because I'm still kind of a Minecraft noob after 11 years, okay? And, and people get upset by that. So I'm pretty sure, oh, that's right. Minecarts are disabled on the server due to lag. Ooh, this might be tricky. Yeah, hopper minecarts are completely disabled because people use minecarts for lag. Okay, well, that's interesting. We do get it back though. It doesn't take it from you, but you can't use it. You know, you drop it on the ground. Okay, so I don't know if you can make one without a hopper minecart. Let me watch some videos. Hey, and look, dude, our bees are out. <gasps> and we have five bees. Nice. Now, I don't know if they're all from different hives or not, but we do indeed have five bees. Let's go. Oh, that makes me so happy. I was so afraid they wouldn't work. Yeah, see, we have a melon and it's not broken. So we're going to have to redesign that machine, unfortunately. Um, do we have any, like, sugar cane in here now? We have some just some droppers and stuff. That's all. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, I found a little issue with our spawner. I I or our our uh, honeycomb farm. For some reason, the honeycomb isn't going into the hopper, and like this is the exact same design that they use. So I'm I'm confused. Uh, th there is some things you know since we're on a server, right? If like two entities are near each other, they'll they'll connect. That way, there's not a bunch of stuff on the ground. I'm hoping that that doesn't mean that this thing won't work at all. Uh, we'll have to see, like, uh, there's three honeycomb up there, but definitely more than three times has it worked. Oh, there's three honeycomb in here. Oh, thank God. I don't care if it's not, I don't care if it's lossless. I'm not concerned about that. I'm going to be here like 24-7 AFKing. 
Um, I did figure out there is one guy named Light Horizon on YouTube. He has a video called Easy Automatic Sheep Farm, Compact, Lossless, No Hopper Minecarts. And I'm going to build it. This is, this is incredible. I, I cannot believe that somebody else had something so specific that they needed that they made a tutorial on it. Like that is absolutely incredible to me. So let's go ahead and make this thing. It's a little bit more complicated and I actually don't know. I don't think this is actually enough for space. Mm, that's kind of a problem. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's enough space, but let's try it anyways. We also need, I don't know if we have any more iron, man. Uh, the issue is I need more shears. I think we used it all for hoppers. Really? We have one piece of <laughs> we have an iron ingot. Okay, do we have any iron back in here? No, we don't. We literally don't have any iron. Okay, let's... Okay, I'm gonna go get some iron. I'm gonna go mine. That's not what I wanted to do right now, but it's for the sake of auto farms. Like, I'm just like, I'm just like, you know, in the world randomly, and someone left a villager, and I'm just like, oh, I wonder why they left a villager, and then I'm just like, I see a UFO in the sky, and I'm like, bro, what is, why is this person have their base? It looks like they have like a little, if you see a piece of sugar cane or something, why is their base like in the middle of the sky? You guys are wild. I dug straight down. I dug straight down and we found some iron. Uh, this looks like a pretty big pocket too. How much was that? 31 iron? I'll take it. Uh, we'll trade two sticks or 31 iron. Seems fair? Seems fair. Okay, so I have some unfortunate news about the melons and pumpkins. So, because this is such a large scale server, if people ended up, you know, not making micro farms, but making mega giant farms of melon and pumpkin, it would crash the server. It would just be too much. So there's some things with redstone, like you saw, mine carts are disabled. Because basically, it's basically a giant lag machine. If you were to make this, but like make it the size of this room, it would, it wouldn't, the server would not like that. So I'm gonna see if there's anything we can change. Maybe we can enable it. I'm not sure. Well, I'll talk to the dev team, but yeah, that's why this isn't working. So we'll leave it here for now. It, I still made it, but it doesn't work. <laughs> so I'll just leave it there for now. We are getting quite a bit of stuff though. I hear all this the bees buzzing and everything. And yeah, we have honeycomb, we have bamboo. We have not gotten any sugar cane. It seems like the sugar cane keeps falling onto the sand and it is what it is. We'll just let that go. We could potentially double up on these farms, like build two in a row. Um, but the sheep, I think the sheep farm is going to take the spot up here. It's really kind of tricky to do it without hopper mine carts, but um, I'll build it on replay mod because I don't want to talk through it. I got to watch this video while doing it. So enjoy. Okay, guys. Well, there we go. That's uh, that's it. So what happens is I, I used a piston to shove a block in his thread. So if we do F3 and uh, B, you see that red line means that he's actually inside of another block. So his head is like two pixels inside this layer of glass. And so what happens is when he gets sheared, the block wants to go to the closest air block, which is technically this water. Um, so it goes up and then over into the water and then into this hopper and into our hopper system. So it does indeed work, which I'm very happy about. I'm still waiting to hear back from the devs. They are in the UK, so they're asleep right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, this thing works. The only kind of weird thing I had to do was on the side here to make this thing work. Um, you have to have a piece of redstone here. So I just put a nice little like, you know, little glass, did I put glass there? Yeah, it did. It's a nice little glass thing there. It, it looks fine. It'll look good from the back as well. Did I put glass there? Yes, I did. Okay. I need to quit doubting myself. All of this should look good. I think there's glass there too. Yeah, there's glass everywhere. Nice, cool. So that means the only thing that doesn't work is the melon and the pumpkins, and that's not due to my fault, okay? Um, but yeah, I left the glass off the top. Hopefully he'll eat a piece of grass soon, but I guess we shouldn't just wait on him. So we can go ahead and just cover this thing up and call this project a completion. So yeah, you can see the bamboo for instance, like right there. You see how the bamboo grew? And then it just fell on the sand. Usually you could use hopper minecarts to prevent that. Um, I don't really care again about it being lossless, but we haven't yet gotten one thing of a... 
gotten a lot of honeycomb and stuff. I mean, it's a really cool farm. Like, I think this is absolutely amazing. If you guys wouldn't mind leaving a like, I would really, really appreciate it because this did take like a long time to record, like six hours or seven hours or so. Um, I am sad about the melon and pumpkin farm. Let me do a little bit of research and see if there's any other way to break them or maybe there's another farm that we can make that's kind of a flat shape. It's a long shot, but we can at least see and uh, maybe there's something. Let me do some research. Look guys, I made a new kind of farm. Wait, what? I don't know what to do, man. They're all bothering me now. What am I supposed to do, dude? They're literally all bothering me. They're saying, hey, YouTube. We got some managers here. We got some staff here. We got we got some weird people here. Like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do now. Yeah, we, they're just making fun of my farm. All right, well, I tried searching far and wide for a farm that would fit in there, and there's nothing, really. It's been a long time. Played around with some staff up here. They were hanging out and checking out the build. They all thought it was pretty cool, right? I think so. But you can see it does produce quite a bit of stuff. Now, the sheep spawner, I'm not sure. It, the sheep has not eaten the grass. The grass has not spread to uh, the block he's standing on. So I'm not sure about that. Maybe I need to put some panes in there. I don't know. I'll play around with it and make sure it works good uh, for when we come back next time. But thank you guys for watching today's episode. It was very long. Thank you for sticking around. The secret code for today's episode is going to be 9729. Put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of the video today. I'd love to see you on Neo Network. You can play on Java or Bedrock. Come check it out. All this area is public around Neo Town, so you can come here and just stand and watch me whenever I record. And I'd love to see you. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to AFK here, and I'll show you how much stuff is here the next time I record. Bye! Oh, well, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm actually extremely proud of this. Like... Regardless of if everything works perfectly or not, we built this many automatic farms in one video, more than I've ever done. I've just been so inspired this series, and I want to show a thank you to all of you. I just want to give thanks to all of you for all the support um, on the server and on the channel lately. It's meant a lot. Um, and yeah, I, I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Nah, but for real, dude, these, these farms are so awesome. I can't believe it. I can just sit here and all this stuff will just generate for me. I don't have to touch a dang thing. Yes. Okay, it's like three in the morning. I'm doing the thumbnail and tell me that this doesn't look so much better with glass. Look at that. The clear glass makes it so much better. Oh, dude, I'm so happy we have these. I'm so happy. I really am. Like, I can just sit here and make money. And look at all this, dude. I know I won't shut up about it, but I've never built anything like this. So I'm super proud. Super proud. Okay. Good night.